Removing items from a list. There's two common ways to remove an item from a list. The first way and the easiest way is to use the del function. There we go, or del statement, it could be statement. And you just type in del and the name of the list. And finally, the index of the item that you want to remove. So I want to remove mouse, so that would be index 0, 1, 2. There we go, index 2, there we go. And as you can see, cat, dog, mouse, and it has removed that third item, removed the mouse. So that just gets rid of it. The other way to remove an item from a list is to use the pop method. The pop method. And we do animals.pop, just like that. And what that will do there is it will get rid of the the last item in the list. So remove the last item. The last item. There we go. Animals.pop. But the difference, the key difference between animals here, Dell animals, is that just gets rid of the item. This one here, the pop method, it actually returns the item that you removed, and that's quite useful. So uh, let's put gone equals animals.pop, there we go, and if we print gone, there we go, you can see that it will print out dog. So it's got rid of the dog, but as well as getting rid of it, it's also returned it and that's really useful. Most of the time, you don't just want to delete an item from a list. Usually, before uh, before you, well, after you delete it, you want to take that item that's been deleted and removed from the list, and you usually want to do something with that item. So this is usually the more common way of doing it, unless you're just getting rid of things that you don't want. So that's how you remove items from a list. The pop function you can also use if we get rid of the. Get rid of those. Let's just hash that one out for the moment, which should give us three items. One, two. What you can do here is the pop function. You don't have to leave it empty. You can specify uh, which item you want to remove, what index. So if I put zero, then it should remove cat. So let's find out. There you go. So yes, it has. So it said go and get the item zero, which will be cat and remove it from the list. So it's no longer in the list, but because we've used the pop method rather than the del function there, then it's actually returned the item and we can use, we can store the item in a variable and do things. There we go. Good.